Speaker. I call uh, Brett Hudson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise in support of this Charities Amendment Bill in its second reading. It is unfortunate, though, Mr Speaker, that here we are in the second reading and already we're seeing attempts to revise history uh, in the description of what happened or didn't happen in the Select Committee process. Our Chair, who I'll acknowledge is normally a very solid, very uh, collegial and very uh, consensus-driven Chair, has made claims about what she saw was removed uh, from the, the Statutes Amendment Bill for further consideration as a separate item from the uh, by the committee. Well, I am a permanent member on that committee and I acknowledge these things. There was a Statute Amendments Bill in front of the committee. There was not unanimous agreement that all the provisions of that bill should be in a Statutes Amendment Bill. The provisions that were thought to not, be, not warrant that were around the Charities Act 2005. And it was agreed, Mr Chair, that all of the provisions around the related to the Charities Act 2005 would be pulled out and made a separate child bill, that all of those provisions would be open to uh, greater public submission, particularly the submitters that had commented in those areas on the statutes amendment part of the bill, of the, of the parent bill, and that we would do it as a separate process and work through it. So the question of whether or not there was a drafting error with respect to the words of uh, or the Chief Executive were always a part of the consideration of the Child Bill. They were absolutely looked at by the Select Committee and any inference that they were not is completely not, as I recall, those proceedings. Mr Ch uh, Speaker, I commend the Bill to the House. I call uh, 